I can never say that coming out of homosexuality was ever easy for me, but I can say that God's grace is what kept me. His understanding that I was still finding myself, his understanding that I was going to mess up and make some mistakes, but with that kind of love is what ultimately kept me going. That he was so patient with me. He allowed me to learn from my mistakes. He allowed me to get back up and keep going. And ultimately, the devil knew he was getting ready to lose a soul. And he began to open doors and set traps for me. And he was basically begging for me to come back. Because at that point, I was bringing souls to his kingdom. I was working for him. Didn't know I was working for him, but very much so. But I thank God that he sought after me. That he went and left the 99 to grab this one. And now midst of those times, I was confused. I didn't know, but I knew it was something about him. He already knew me, but I didn't know him. He captivated me in so many ways. I'm in love. I never thought that I could have a friend that's closer than a brother. But one thing I want you to know is that he can give you the same thing. He can give you the same grace, the same mercy, the same favor. Many people who slip up in the midst of their deliverance would say, well, I must supposed to be gay because God not doing what he's supposed to be doing. No, it does not work like that. Your deliverance is not going to happen overnight. God has to do something within you to mold you, to teach you a new thing. God has to take you through a journey, through a process, something that's going to sustain you. It's not just God, I don't want to be gay anymore, and then poof, like a genie, you're not gay anymore. No, it's time to do the work. It's no difference from somebody who was alcoholic and they want to walk into sobriety. They got to do the work something to learn so that you don't go back into your drunkenness into your sin he's trying to do something so you can keep you 